The chairman of the ABC, Morris Newman, has attacked the media for being too willing to accept the conventional wisdom on climate change. In a speech to senior ABC staff this morning, he said climate change was an example of groupthink. Contrary views had not been tolerated and those who expressed them had been labelled and mocked. Mr Newman has doubts about climate change himself and says he's waiting for proof either way. Before his appointment to the ABC board, Mr Newman had a long career in stockbroking and investment banking. He says it used to puzzle him why journalists didn't see through corporate wizards such as Alan Bond and Christopher Scase. Again, Mr Newman blames uncritical groupthink. The ABC chairman spoke to Brendan Trembath. The media hasn't been good at picking these things up and it's really been the question of what is uh, conventional wisdom and consensus uh, rather than listening perhaps to other points of view that may be sceptical. And I brought in as well uh, in that vein uh, what's been going on in climate change where there's been clearly a point of view which has been prevailing in mainstream media and the fact that again perhaps uh, consensus and conventional wisdom might always, may, may not always stand us in good stead. Do you think the ABC has been too quick to accept the conventional wisdom that climate change is a fact of life, that it's happening, according to eminent scientists? I think the ABC has probably uh, been more balanced than most in the mainstream media. I think that uh, we've, we've listened to the words of sceptics as, as well as those who uh, are scientists in the field. But... Uh, Climate change is at the moment uh, an, an emotional issue, but it really is the fundamental issue about the need to bring voices that uh, have authority and are relevant to the particular issue to the attention of our audiences so that they themselves can make decisions, so that uh, we are seen to trust and respect them sufficiently that they can make up their own minds about the various points of view that are being expressed through the medium of the ABC. So should the ABC be trying harder to seek out people in authority who deny climate change? Climate change was only a part of the... Uh, uh, and one of four examples which I gave. I think we but should... It's the be... hottest topic around at the moment, which is why I'm singling it out. Yeah, but I think the point is that uh, hopefully what I was saying in my speech is good for all seasons. Do you have your own particular view on this? Is there, is there some doubt in your mind about climate change? My view on uh, any of these topics is to keep an open mind. And I still have an open mind on climate change. I have an open mind on a whole range of issues because I think that uh, to have a closed mind leaves you in a position where uh, if you take a strong stance, you are likely to be wrong-footed. And I've just made the point that uh, I've been around long enough to know that consensus and conventional wisdom doesn't always serve you well and that unless you leave some room for an alternative point of view, you are likely to uh, go down a wrong track. Even though we've got uh, people talking about longer and more severe bushfire seasons, the, the melting uh, of polar ice caps, you, you still have your doubts? I think that there are points of view supporting what you've just said. There are other points of view which will discount that, and they come from also eminent positions. These are not uh, cranks. Many of the people who have a different point of view on the climate science are respectable and credentialed scientists themselves. So as I said, I'm not a scientist and I'm like uh, anybody else in the public. I have to listen to all points of view and uh, then make judgments when we're asked to, to uh, vote on particular policies. Would you say you're a climate change denier or not as obvious as that? I'm a, uh, I am an agnostic. Uh, and I have always been an agnostic, and uh, I will remain an agnostic until I've found compelling evidence on one side or the other that will move me. I think that uh, what seems fairly clear to me is that the climate science is still being developed. There are a lot of question marks about some of the fundamental data which has been used to build models that uh, requires caution. The ABC chairman, Morris Newman, speaking to Brendan Trembath.